Hi everyone, on today's segment we'll make chocolate chocolate chip cookies. In a medium bowl, whisk the flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. I prefer to use Giardelli chocolate chips for this recipe, but you could use any brand that you like. Microwave the chocolate for one minute. Stir the chocolate until smooth and set aside to cool slightly. Using a stand mixer or a handheld mixer, beat the butter until smooth. Now add the brown sugar and beat on medium high speed for about five minutes, occasionally scraping down the sides of the bowl. After five minutes, the sugar and butter mixture will have a light consistency. Scrape down the bowl, add the egg, and continue to mix on low speed. Scrape down the bowl one more time, and now it's time to add the flavoring. Add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and the melted chocolate. Mix the cocoa and vanilla extract on low for about 30 seconds. Give the bowl another good scraping, and now I'll add the flour in three separate batches, making sure to scrape in between. Mix on low speed. It's a good practice to avoid overmixing the dough once the flour has been added. Overmixing can only lead to excessive gluten development, and that results in a tough cookie. Before adding the last batch of flour, make sure to scrape down the bowl. Mix on low for another 20 seconds and then stop. Add a bag of chocolate chip cookies. I love the Giardelli bittersweet variety for this one. You can add half the bag or if you want something more chocolatey, the entire bag. Line three large baking sheets with parchment paper. Take a spoonful of cookie dough and place it on the baking sheet. Afterwards, flatten slightly with your fingers. Place a tray of cookies into a preheated 325 degree oven for 14 to 16 minutes. Allow the cookies to cool for at least a few minutes before transferring them onto a cooling rack. Look at that, I had about six cookies. I'll spend the whole week eating salads, but it was so worth it. These cookies are chocolate lovers delight. Thank you for watching, now go bake a batch of your own.